in general, the magnitude of the neuroendocrine response to weight training exercise will be based on the amount of work performed as it interacts with load intensity, muscle mass involved, number of sets and repetitions, and rest period between sets. Adrenal hormones respond to stress. Weight training results in elevated levels of serum cortisol, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine in both males and females. Increases in cortisol during weight training appear to reflect the metabolic stress of the exercise. Cortisol and catecholamines are responsible for mobilization of free fatty acids and are glycogenic, supporting glucose metabolism by stimulating gluconeogenesis, amino acids to glucose. Norepinephrine and epinephrine play a role in vascular control and vasomotor tone. Epinephrine stimulates glycogen breakdown and glycolytic flux. Catecholamines also play a role in muscle function through greater central nervous system activation. Plasma levels of insulin decrease during weight training. However, muscle contraction alone has been shown to stimulate transport of glucose independent of insulin. Several androgenic hormones are known to increase in plasma as a result of weight training. In males, serum levels of both testosterone and free testosterone increase dramatically with weight training exercise and remain elevated more than 30 minutes post-exercise. Little or no testosterone response is elicited in female. Serum worth hormone levels increase in both males and females performing heavy weight training exercise, though the magnitude of the response is greater in men. In addition, the growth hormone response to weight training in males and females appears to be dependent on the exercise protocol utilized. Hypertrophy inducing protocols that typically have a higher energy demand result in significantly higher levels of HDH, human growth hormone, than strength protocols. This might reflect the role of HDH in both tissue development and energy metabolism. The acute effects of HDH include the stimulation of glucose uptake and inhibition of lipid metabolism, whereas prolonged elevation of HDH has opposite effects. Many of the growth effects of HDH are mediated through insulin-like growth factors IGF-1, which have been shown to increase with weight training. That's all for this video, hope you all enjoyed the content, please comment down below, also share, like and come back whenever you want, it will be a pleasure to have you back.